Hi, Divine Feminine. My energies. It's Mama D. Mama D's true. I hope everybody's doing good today. Let's see if we can get a message. <laughs> Sorry, my head was like that. Do a check in with the Divine Feminines. Get some messages of inspiration. If you like my content, like, share, subscribe. Let me get an overall message and see how the collective's feeling. Felt the heavy kind of energy today. I feel. A lot of the divine masculines are kind of waking up, very withdrawn. I feel that they know something's going on, but maybe not whole self-aware. Or definitely not to a place of absolutely understanding. I think they're going through metamorphosis, transitions, it's just what I feel. Um, divine feminines, you could be feeling what they're feeling. A little bit throwed off inside, maybe. Um, when I do that, I just learn how to like clear my energy to sit still and be like, okay, why am I feeling this way? Is it because of me or am I feeling, you know, the collective's energy, um, my divine masculine? It's a good place to get to where you start discerning, like, what's your emotions, what's their emotions, what outside influences it could be affecting you. Not mean in third party energies or anything like that, and just some things beyond your control and what you can see with your physical eyes. Feeling something. Using your intuition to guide you. Embrace. Embrace the changes that they're going through. You know? It's also number 11, which I love. Embrace. There's changes happening. Embrace the changes. Just, you know, be present. Work on yourself. Hell, that's what I'm doing. I'm building a channel and talking to divine feminines out there. You know, because I feel like on some level, like my soul connects with y'all soul. There's somebody at the same point of their journey that I am on mine. Right? So... Let's embrace the journey together, Divine Feminines, you know. After all, we are here to lift the vibration, correct? If we don't lift the vibration, Divine Masculine is going to stay stuck like Chuck. Look, Saturn, wake up. <laughs> Can't put time on it. I know, we're tired. I'm not in union. I think mine's rubbing the sleep out of his eyes. I feel it. But I pulled my energy back. I mean, I will always be there energetically, but for myself, this part of the journey is his. I gotta do the work. Get some tarot. This is my Chrysalis tarot deck. Pull some cards. It's number 11, Embrace. What are we embracing? Right? Embrace. Embrace.
told you I think they're waking up. I feel they're waking up. Look, lovers, choices. Coming to a realization. Choosing. Healing. The ultimate wish fulfillment. My masculines are waking up, divine feminine. Y'all keep up putting yourself first. For me, it was starting this channel because I went through my dark night of the soul. I wish I could have known a little bit more, but without the awakening that I went through, I would have not been where I am. I, I've just embraced my journey. Like I was meant to be here right now. Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. In control of my emotions. Not everywhere scattered. You know? Feeling that self love in, doing something for myself. This. what gift coming in page of pentacles something solid it reminds me of like jumping through hoops like to get to deliver this message it just seems like I don't care if I look like a monkey in a circus I'm getting this message out Coming to this divine feminine, the artist, the one that's painting her life. She's queen of pentacles, loving, stable. She ain't worried about everything going on around her. Look at that. She is focused on building her world. She's focused. Sorry about that. My card. My camera is light. She's painting her future. What do you want your future to look like? Yeah. Seven of Swords came out in reverse. Not about the bullshit no more, huh? Uh-uh. Not about the bullshit. Stepping up, stepping out, right? Why? Why? We stepping up, stepping out. Because it's destiny. Three cups. Reconciliation. Angels, ancestors, and God stepping up in here. We're like, uh-uh. Here's your passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands. Here you go. Here's your gift. Get a passionate new light. Start with fire. Ace of Wands. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. I like it. Passion and energy. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. We're tempering ourselves. And when we do the work, they have no choice but to do the work. That's part of the journey. Lifting each other up. Balancing. You, you know, like, if you're high vibing and your twin's not, they not going to come in. Why? Because they got to step up and meet at your level. Divine masculine energies can be more high vibing. Yeah, I know what it's like to suffer. I know what it's like to be without my twin. So my focus is on what? Myself. Why? Because if I work on me, justice, balancing, Libra energy is going to come in and balance those scales. I'm telling you, watch. They cannot not do it. That's why we were created in the beginning. Look what popped out. 
matching court cards. This is the King of Pentacles. Yep. Loyal. Look here. Seriously. Where did my coin go? There she is. Bam. And we have the Lovers card. If that's not screaming twin flames, hell, I don't know what is. Reconciliation. It's just a matter of what? Divine timing. We're all sick of it. I'm just, I know. Empress energy. Gaia. Bottom of the deck. We're birthing something new. Newness. Growing. Equal give and take. Six of pentacles. Deep rooted, deep rooted, deep rooted. The illusion's gone, breaking through. Ace of Wands, baby. It's gonna happen. I'm not taking those because that was not spirit, that was me. But <laughs> y'all want to talk today. Oh, Divine Thumbs, y'all keep your energy up. I know what it's like to feel tired. I know what it's like. Really do. High Priestess Energy. She who intuitively knows. Some of you might be seeing black crows. Messengers. Messengers. Let your High Priestess Energy take over and know coming. Look, the Empress, the Queen of Wands, birthing something new, fire, passion. They see you as their Empress. They see you as beautiful. We're all beautiful. We're all beautiful. Look, Eight of Swords. And you know what it's trumped with? Six of Wands, victory and success. Think. Let your thoughts not be those of confusion. Create. Meditate. If you're going to be in your head about something, get creative about what you're going to do for yourself. Mine was to do this channel. Try to get messages out there. You know, lift the vibrations of people. This is messages from your angels. I'm going to get a closed message. What is our divine feminine energies needs to know today? What is our divine feminine energies need to know today from you angels? I swear the world card from my tarot just popped. 1333. It's the end of a cycle. It's a new beginning. Look at that. I'm not exactly sure where that car fell from. Because my deck's over here. See? I'll have to go back and rewatch it. I just felt it hit and fall. The world car popped out. We're doing this. Got faith in us. Listen to some music. Raise your vibrations. Take you a good spiritual bath. Just go in the bathroom. Take you a shower. If you have some salt, put some salt in the water. Not iodized. Use what's around you. If nothing else, just stand in the shower and mentally say, I release all of this negative energy. Anything negative that I release, I want it to come back positive towards me. I'm very sorry about that. My dogs are... Oh, I'm flipping the deck. Sonia says, I bring you a message from your loved ones. I am happy... I'm at peace. I love you. Please don't worry about me. Fiona says, now, 
that you've asked the angels for help. Be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Close with the magical times also. Fairy deck. Empower my cards, okay? Let's do it. Can I have an empowerment card for my Define Feminine today? What is the message for the Define Feminine? confidence have confidence be bold rise up stand tall feel the fire in your soul create that sacred space that's what i was talking about go within heal take your spiritual bath do something for yourself time for the dreamer in you find your power in stillness in your sacred space is the peace that you seek Stop hesitating. Movement creates magic and nothing can hold you back. Take action for yourself. Whatever your spirit is calling you to do, do it. But remember to always love yourself first. It's Mama D, Mama D's Tarot. I hope everyone has a good day.